Donald Trump, of course, hopes Indiana will be the next addition to his win column, riding the momentum he picked up after a five-state sweep last week in the Northeast. GOP frontrunner is inching closer to securing the nomination, despite an outcry from some establishment members of his party. So is it time for the establishment GOP to fall in line behind Donald Trump? To answer that question, Fox News contributor Angela McGlowan and radio talk show host Mark Levine, Mark, member of the Virginia House of Delegates as well. So, Angela, we yes. have these two sides of the GOP right now. Yes. We have John Boehner saying that Ted Cruz is Lucifer <laughs> sir, in the flesh, in the flesh. <laughs> and some other things that we won't repeat on this family-friendly program. <laughs> and then he also says, okay, I'm going to get behind Donald Trump. On the other hand, you have John Huntsman saying the same thing uh, in slightly less colorful, uh, colorful language. Yes, Thank you. Yes. Is it time that the GOP sort of accepts this idea that Trump will be the nominee? No, it's not time. What we need to do is run the race until it's over. Trump got 66% of late voters, last minute voters. So people might make their decision by a campaign speech, by a debate. So no, I don't think that the party should come together until we have a nominee. So until we get to 1237. Yeah. Okay. Or right. the second ballot, first ballot, third ballot. But I think that people should have their right to vote. Mark, to you, and this this is a softball. You listen to Don. You listen to John Kasich. He says you nominate anybody but me. It is giving the election to Hillary Clinton from a Democratic perspective. Or do you guys view a race against Ted Cruz and a race against Donald Trump as a Bring cakewalk? Bring them on. <laughs> does Kasich scare does you? Uh, does Kasich scare me? No. But uh, he has no chance, and Ted Cruz and Donald Trump will be very easy to beat. I'm looking forward to President Hillary Rodham Clinton. I think she's going to do a terrific job. Mark sounds so confident. And I so think confident. she's going to bring in uh, some Democratic members of Congress. Look, your party is falling apart. I mean, you can wish well, you that Donald Trump... Look at you look at me, please. Not Leland. Leland's a journalist, me. okay? Me. Your party is falling apart, Angela. I mean, uh -huh. the, you can wish that Donald Trump's not going to make it. You can hope. You can pray. You can click those Never Trump together uh, shoes. It, I'm sorry. I He's your nominee. He's your nominee. Anything which I don't do, but I think that Donald Trump will give Hillary Clinton a race for our money. I think that I Kasich, think so. I think you guys are afraid of Kasich. Well, if you, if Kasich's you look, not going to happen. But Kasich there, has fewer delegates than Marco Rubio, who left the race two months but ago. But if we go into a contested convention, it won't all be contested. things are off. I think Donald Trump's going to win 1237. I don't you think, think, he, you think he gets First to 1237, he's there. In terms of where you look at the polls, there is some polling to suggest, though, that Trump gets trounced. Cruz, eh. Democrats win. The one place that Democrats have a vulnerability, at least according to the polls, is John Kasich. It's interesting because John Kasich is the most moderate Republican. Yes. John Kasich supported the Affordable Care Act. He supported Obamacare, which is supposed to be the this Affordable evil. Care. No, 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 stop. He actually he gave it, it to his constituents. Right. Yes, so he was one of the Republican right. governors that did give it to his constituents. So he's proving that he will do whatever he can yes. to help he's his people. He's far too reasonable to be, to be dominated by your but party. But saying that he endorsed what, 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 Obamacare. What do you make of this concept as we pivot towards the general election? That suddenly, suddenly the traditional Republican voter and the traditional Democratic voter may not hold anymore in the terms of Donald Trump's blue-collar union-type support and also a lot of Hillary Clinton supporters who could be more upper middle class, upper class folks who wouldn't necessarily vote for a Democrat, but certainly aren't going to vote for Donald Trump. I, I do think that the Republican Party, traditional voter, is falling apart. I mean, I, you look at Ted Cruz representing the, the social conservatives. Uh, Donald Trump definitely doesn't represent them. He represents the more blue collar, uh, even Listen, the Reagan Democrats. All... But the Democratic coalition is strong. I think mm -hmm. we're going to be fine. I think we're going to get some more people all who want a sane, competent president. Republican candidates represent the core of the GOP. So when you say traditional Republican, traditional Democrat. Donald Trump does, um, Angela? I said every Republican candidate. Okay. He wants to do something about taxes, doesn't he? He wants smaller government. I mean, I can go down the list. So the bottom line is you guys want to put out there that we're falling apart, but Bernie isn't doing so bad, Mark. Bernie's well, not going to win. Well, he's not gonna, it's but he, over listen, for Bernie as well. Listen, but, and he he's might not win the Clinton. nomination. He might not win the nomination, but he sure has given her a run. Well, he and, is, and, 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 there's, and you have to admit, Mark, there's a lot of Democrats and a lot of Bernie supporters who say they're not going to support Hillary Clinton. They will. They will. They will. Right, They'll well, come in the fire. Right, we, you know, we record these programs, <laughs> so we're going to bring you back and see if that holds true. Bring it on. All right, Mark, Angela, thanks, guys. Thank you. See you soon. All the best.